set up some stacks for the team too, so we get a lot of bonus gold. It's gonna be a very early blink Dagonons. Definitely cause problems for Miracle. I don't know, Liquid. Smoked. Just trying to get a wrap around here on Tarmel. One control, I'm trying to go for the burn. Solo pull down to Cuckoo. He has the black hole down. This boss is coming out. That's the black hole used to RP. Onto the one of them is Deep though, and the rest of TNC are coming in to turn things around. And that is black hole. RP used, gets no kills. And now Miracle. Mind control is dead. Miracle, he's got a remnant ready to throw back to the side, but TNC, they're there in preparation. They're chasing down, they'll move over him. In position, they're gonna get Miracle as well! As Liquid, they're having another bit of a question mark game so far. Can they even go for our here? He's really taking, he has the Yule Scepter as well. They have chips to disengage. We hot. We'll have to swashbuckle away. Cuckoo, Senna starts He's submitting. Got the They've got, got the, the silence. silence. We hot. He's hiding in the trees, they've been so bound, they're gonna move in with the ghost. We are will head up to the side, he will survive, but the fish is there. We are continuing to back off, Mind Control comes in. But the Midnight Pulse, the Ice Blast does pass over, We are Armel getting though, he's trying to actually commit with the Yules. Look at him play with his Siphon, Armel still alive, Cuckoo's in the trees, the Crypt Swarm gets the kill. They're on to Armel, trying to get with the Siphon. Armel, he's coming back with the Echo Slam, Miracle's dead! It's a double kill for Armel, it's TNC! I just beating up Liquid around their Tier 1 tower, mid. Very good from anything there as GH got him again. He he pulled back for that, right? And that's the ward they that's, had. That's yep. 70 seconds, no Magnus. Yep, the ward vision that they had missed earlier from TNC. Oh, mid. Miracle, get Miracle. Combo. He's got the slight, he's got the jump. Yeah, but look, Gabby, he knows the force forward. Gabby's in, but the BKP popped by Miracle. We'll be there in time to make sure he doesn't get stunned, though. Kuro will pay for that, though. As he's at the side, Miracle will be able to retreat. Tim's is chasing. He knows that Miracle's greedy. Yeah. He knows that he's on the... He team. knows! Tim's 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 he's got him! He's oh so goddamn God 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 smart! He Tim's knows! Tim's he knows! knows. So greedy. He's in Miracle's mind! Oh my God. Tim's! <laughs> he knew it! He knows! He knows! He knows. He knows. He knows. Tim's! What a, what a smart man! How many levels did he get for that as well? I think he got what? like three levels for that kill. He's up to 19 now. I mean, Tim... I Look know! At this man. Tim he doesn't care! He's killing every Tim. single corp! This man! Dude, this guy is good. This guy is very, very good. Oh my Tim's. god. Tim's Dota, is, baby. It's as if he has map packs. I he mean, literally the way he knows exactly where everyone is going, where everyone's gonna be. Is under he has map hacks and can read the future. And look at this, he, he, no just, knows. he just knows that Miracle's gonna be greedily and farming not... the camp. Got RP up in two seconds. Back up now, Weeha, looking to try to jump forward here. He gets blocked so by the Fissure and he's bounced away. Ping ponged away. Held outside of the pit. TNC, they can finish it off. GH is gonna skew it in after oh, the has been picked up. And Miracle's just dead to Gabby. Wait, what? They got the they got the echo on him. They got the control. He just got evaporated. He did. 100 seconds, no miracle. They're chasing for Weeha as well. Weeha. It's got the TP and Chance. Is he gonna get him? <gasps> oh, he got this? vision by the sentry. He puts the sentry oh! into the trees. Who is this guy? Tips! <laughs> Tim's is just... Doesn't get the kill, but it, he we forces are, him away. He's got to take a long trip oh back to base. We Trying to farm as safely as possible for himself. Comes the smoke train. They're swooping towards this Slark, who is in the enemy jungle. Down by a Queen of Pain here. Kevlier. Good turn. I want to fight here. Pop nice the ult when the, the Barrow Strike came in. But the epicenter is there. The Slark getting very low. There's the Echo Slam as well. The Queen of Pain being kept alive with the defensive sleep. The Fiend's Grip there as well. Can they kill this one? The Sonic Wave stolen! Oh, he turns it around. Kills the Queen of Pain with that one. They're still going to get Barrow Strike that one. Armel showing up with the boat. That's going to mitigate some damage while killing the Sand King. Two for two so far. As Bane. Nightmare is perhaps to set things up for an Alchemist done. They've got the Kunker with the Radiance damage as well. Slark in all sorts of trouble if he doesn't find the leap out. He's going to get himself down to the low ground. He needs to run away. Oh, Lena almost gets him. She's level 11. With that split pushing Octarine Core and whatnot. Alks are carry. He's a true carry now. Just give Moonshard the bait. He also has attack speed. Talon. <laughs> Yeah, I think we now understand why you haven't played a TI since TI2 Lacoste. <laughs> <laughs>
There's a stun follow up to the disruption, and Queen of Pain dies once. Can they kill her a second time? I don't think they realize there's an Aegis. They've got an Echo Slam if they need to use it. They don't. There's a Torrent, there's a Totem, and they burst down the clock. Bye bye, Aegis. That does not last long at all, and TNC immediately punish. And charge forward. It's Queen of Pain, very mobile, can dropping out from the Notice as Roshan has respawned. Both teams will be prioritizing their game plan around Roshan now. Oh, climbing the high ground. Sinking, but quick fingers from Rubik blinks out. Plays blinking. Just takes the sandstorm for now, making sure he has a spell. Since Rubik before that didn't have anything. And next torrent is there. Are they going to look to take this kill? It looks like that's the plan. The nightmare to save is there. And with the BKB on Slark, he's being feature gripped up in the trees. The boat takes too long to really cancel, but they still killed the lead and go for the bane. On the back line, it's Alchemist taking out the Rubik immediately. This Alk is such a beefy boy, pops the BKB, turns to fight the Slark, he forces him to pop the Shadow Dance just to keep himself alive, and instead Alk's gonna find a new target. It's the Kunker, these bashes just coming in one after the other, there's no escape from poor Armel. Echo back in, and what an echo it was, with the BKB wearing off, the Sonic Wave's there from Joe, but it's too little too late. It's Cuckoo's Earthshaker winning TNT the fight. Man, Cuckoo's positioning the... We see any level 25 talents approaching Alchemist uh, level 23? Still not there yet. 23 on Slack, 22 on bot mid lane. Blinking in, but he's being lifted and he needs to be careful. There's a dire sentry ward here. Does have the defensive Yule Scepter with the demonic purge. He's going to pull him back down from that Yule Scepter. The boat pull back. Nice save coming on in from the Nightmare, but it's only going to do so much as they wake him up and still take him out. Alchemist's gone charging back in, has the BKB back up with the Dango, doing so much right click damage, and the Sonic Wave there to help secure the kill. No buyback in place for the Rubik, and sends to the Radiant Keen Gaming using their buybacks. They've lost the Bane though. Buys back himself, they are so dead set on winning this fight and trying to secure themselves Roshan, and I think TNC realized so many of these fights, his Echo Slimes have been the Bane of their existence, but... Time to test TNC's high ground defense. They are in a 3v5 scenario and they don't have those illusions to play with. The plan here, two-man bar strike, two-man LSA follow-up. An absolutely beautiful setup coming in from the Sand King. Hold 11 with a fantastic setup. The Rubik in trouble as well with the Orca there beyond godlike. He is having a fantastic game. Another two-man bar strike coming on in. This Sand King is just having a hell of a game. Armel in the fountain. He's so incredibly low. The Queen of Pain wants it. He's actually getting stunned by the fountain. It needs to be careful. Bought a refresher in the fountain just to blink away. I think he wanted to get a Sonic Wave out as well, but he didn't have the mana for it, so... Uh, getting a bit ahead of yourselves. Keen Gaming, they need to get out. Sarko's charging forward. Takes out the Alchemist, who does have buyback. Are they going to use this one? The Shadow Dance has been popped. Does need to be a little bit careful, and it does look like... Rubik's trying to see what he can do with the Solar Fire Strike. He's doing some work here. The Epicenter comes on in. They want to take out Tim's. He's getting low, the Glimmer Cape is there though, the Slark trying to build up some magic here. You gotta be so careful as this fight drags on, the yeah, Slark is scarier and scarier. But it's a Fiend Scrip, it's on the Kunker, not the Slark. But still a big kill nonetheless. Two minutes on the sidelines, and Alchemist, Sand King, they're buying back. They smell blood, they smell GG. They want to end this one. They realize that Kunker nor Rubik have a buyback at this point. They want to end shaker. it. Slark fought back, I mean, fought for the refresher. He may pop this just for the Shadow Dance. He's waiting to see if he needs to use it now. 18 seconds before he is Shadow Dance. Will he need to pop it? 12 seconds here. The Shadow Demon there by the time here. He's going to have double ultimate soon. The fear is in. The Blink Echo Slam. They want this Alchemist. The Nightmare Sim is there. The lean under the tower. The Fissure there as well. Blinking in with the Totem. He's got taken out the F. That's a dive back. And Slack's on Charlie as well. Has the bash. Goes on the base. This is looking so good for TNC for now. They've kept their throne alive. They're still causing problems here. The Refresher is there. Slack has another ultimate if he needs it. Can he get it off? He's being stunned up. He's chain stunned. He can't get off. The defensive disruption is there. Is there a Refresher? Pop the ultimate. He gets it off. He's still alive. The LSA. He PK bees as well. Oh, he's got double feed script potentially. He has the feed script stolen still from the last fight. This is huge. Gotta keep an eye out for this one in here. Team Gaming, you can't allow him just to sit there channeling it. With an Echo Slam as well. That's not the Echo Slam you were hoping for. All right, time to give back that I, refresher. I was just <laughs> thinking that. He's, he's hugging the Rubik. He's like, bro, give me, give me this refresher. He's, he's asking for it. Queen of 
pain, blinking in, using that fear just to repel them from the base. The Sonic Wave doing some good damage as well, but that's the stolen beast grip killing off the Alchemist. He's dead again. He's just spending the entire late game waiting to respawn. Death after death, poor Alchemist is just having it rough, and they pull out the main as well. May just be a support, but that's a big kill considering all the saves that this main brings to the table. Lee in the back right as well, they're just melting one by one. Keen Gaming full on the pot here in the that's late That's it, game. GG's called. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> I imagine TNC emotions running high. Ancient Seal making sure that he has that extra duration silence for his But they're continuing to be some pressure. Zero as they do. Get arm out. But there's Kuku the double counter play. The two-man bar strike sentries down. There's a lot of liquid here around the river as they look to fight. Pokes coming down onto Kuku. Kuku will fall. The toss back there. It's into the stun. setup. Stun. Beautiful setup from arm out. Followed up by AU Central Conqueror. Let's see if they can get more mind control. Is healing up. Gabby's rage will finish. They'll drag back arm out into the torrent combo. Careful respond. He is tanky. Jump Armel will head up, Miracle going for the big zip of the silence, he zips straight into his death, Miracle dies! As Armel, he finally falls! Using Fields out, but the rage is back up, Gabby can get up to the high ground. They're still trying to chase Mind Control, starting to fall a little low on the matter. But the control's there from Kuro, drags back Sims. Liquid will be able to find the three kills. Spot as well. Radiant are scanning. Fine, Liquid R going to play it safe they down the high ground. On the top side. And they don't just hear it. They're in onto Kuro first. Toss up. Can they burst him down? They can. That's one dead. Gabby looking to move in with the raise there on top of GHG. It goes for the arm, but there's the cancel as Kuka's in. With a first strike, can't be through onto Miracle. So let's not matter to zip up the high ground. The silence and a mystic flare is perfectly placed by Tims. There's two, three dead. There'll be a buyback for Kuro. Liquid will be able to turn and get both of the support teams. Down with Gabby. Kuku and Arnold, they're still going forward. Jump down to low ground for Kuku. He's on top of we are. Toss on a Gabby brings him down to the low ground again. Another as Kuro he pulled back for this, but Gabby he's gonna be ready to dive. He has rage, he has open wounds, he taunts, turns. There will be a torrent, but Kuroki is down. TNC overrunning Liquid. Scouting up Chris, they will see it burn. No, but Armel's still able to jump in onto Kuroki. Kuroki's Death. gone and Gabby's ready to start looking for the second target. He's towards Mind Control, Mind Control wants the BKB. The pull down Miracle, looking to zip forward for more. Armel will fall. Liquid, they get one, they'll zip onto a second. Bloodstone charges for Miracle, start to rack up. And he's not done. He zips straight in, look for the backlash, for the silence is down. The Mystic Flare again! Miracle! What is he doing? He is playing way too aggressive versus the Skyrim. What is he doing? <laughs> Every time he just zips right. I mean, it's as if he expects the rest of his team to have ball lightnings as well. They don't. Set up them still only a 1k deficit. TNC, okay, they're gonna start setting the smoke up. So they really want to fight this tier two instead of trying to like look uh, for their own trade. Five heroes to get the wraparound secret. Trying to lead in. Demonic purged. Gabby trying to go in on Zai, but Zai too tanky for him to deal with. Arnold's gonna come in with the wraparound. They'll focus towards Puppy. They'll get one. They fire fly back into the lasso. They've got the control. They've taken the second. They'll get Zai as well. Take it on Nisha for AU. He's on top of Nisha. Nisha and Yapsaw, the last two left remaining. Tim's turns with a fire blast. That's Nisha then. Yapsaw surrounded TNC. They're looking for the team wipe. They're gonna get it. Double kill for Armel as TNC shut down the efforts of Secret on that bottom lane. Think it What's was, this play? Right? Gets assassinated, smoke, bam, oh, into the shadows he goes. Tims now with the smoke safe. DD Nisha, they've got all this damage left. TNC, they're positioned around this area here. Oh, Sam's getting low. See if they can get in. Life cycle rate catches the two of them. Cuckoo's still watching from the side. They'll try and turn though. Tim, they've got the damage with the blow. Mid one's out. Gabby's still alive. Up to the high ground into AU. Are you keeping him safe? AU. Trying to skew it back here, he's holding on to it for now. Mid one will buy back for this Roshan fight. TNC. Still forcing Secret to be very careful how they go about finishing it. Secret are going to try and continue to look for Tim. Tim on the front, he's caught up by the Magic Missile. Tim's immediate buyback. No hesitation to get back in the game. Secret continuing to focus down Roche. Cuckoo, he swapped in, he's under the road. The clap comes out, Gabby moves in with the rage. Puppy's held off to the side, he's got a disruption to keep his safe. He's Roche. used in, looking for Nisha, Roche is low. The stun's out, five blood does the Yapsaw. Yapsaw, two man light drop and arm out. In with the hit, the mount hit, takes him out. Buyback from Yapsaw, there's no buyback available for Zai. No buyback available for Cuckoo, but TNC, they're in the pit. They'll get the Roche, they'll get the Aegis, they'll look towards Mipo. Mipo's in trouble, this would be a dieback. He tries to turn, but he's surrounded. Mipo will fall, dead for 70 seconds. He's not done, he's on to the Shadow Demon, Puppy's out, he's looking for more, Yapsel's gone as well, 4 dead on secret, TNC, take the lead! 
playing on the high ground. Great into the run left. And now Secret, they're smoking up though. Okay. So, he the swap out. The BKP will be quick, but Nice is dying to hit onto the rest of the TNC coming in. Alan's trying to focus the time. He's never getting the stun out. Are you holding with the RP for now? He can't get in. There'll be a buyback for Cuckoo. Secret, Crimson Guard buffed out. They cannot kill Zai. Zai, far too beefy. If one is the only one to fall on Secret, then the they jump Cuckoo. The buyback, he is able to get the grab. Can they kill him in time? They're focusing Nisha. Nisha slides down the low ground. They kill the sniper. TNC, that's the big kill they need to open up the fight for them to move over. And clean up the rest of Secret. Cuckoo, Tim's on top of Yapsu. Yapsu traps the TP out. Will they not make it home? TNC have cleaned them up. They do it. Cuckoo with the buyback, catching Nisha. I think you want to give the double lasso. Yeah. Yeah. Tim's yeah. feeling himself. I'm saying that's fine. Uh, he's past 25, I'm telling you. Ah, it doesn't work, of course, on the unrefined fire. But he has to do damage. He's been found outside of the base. I think he let this man die. No, no buyback. Jesus. Look to lead him for more. Look at that one. He's cut off on the mid one. And seven for the mid one. He's jumping down to the mid side. Jumps in. He gets the loose up on the three step. And his missed blade drops down as well. They manage to shoot down TA. Nisha doing the damage with the rapier. Double kill for Nisha. TNT and have got retreat. Cuckoo forces it up to the high ground. Zion yet to try to chase. He's coming back for more. He stepped in. They've got the null fire to Zach Tim. He's in. He's in. Multi curse on Nisha. Nisha forced up the high ground. Yep, so trying to do his best to save the light track. Will fall back. The Yonka buyback comes from inside Nisha. He shoots. Don't Yep, fire. so someone with another fire. Cuckoo, the fire leader as well. Nisha is dying. Nisha is dead without buyback. Hex as well on to die. They'll put him in for the cleanup as DMC will finally close up the game. 61k lead is needed, but they have done it. They've taken a game off secret. It's secret lead finally in this tournament. 9 and 1, I believe, for secret as TNT with this match after a very, very rough Tough playing lines. phase start. This mid game was played so well by them. They controlled the game perfectly, and Cuckoo on this bat, yep. running the clutch pickoffs for his team. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant game.